Hi, I'm Tarek Mitra. I'm head of cybersecurity at Salvatry. Uh, we've recently been seeing a number of questions from partners about NIST 800-171. So uh, this session is to answer some of the most common ones. A NIST 800171 is a set of cybersecurity guidelines for any contractors and the controlled unclassified information. So for Zometry, that most often applies to export control jobs, including those subject to ITAR and EAR. Uh, ITAR partners are being asked to attest to their compliance with certain DFARS clauses. So those are specifically DFAR 7012, 7019, and 7020. And essentially what those regulations are asking is that partners assess themselves against NIST 800171 and report their scores to the government using the Supplier Performance Risk System, the SPRS. It's quite common for a self-assessment to find unmet controls and partners are not required to remediate all of them before attesting to these DFARS clauses. Uh, we can't offer detailed compliance guidance, but in essence, these clauses are asking partners to accurately report their score. Uh, partners should also document any unmet controls on a plan of action and be making progress towards remediating them. Uh, various vendors have made score calculation tools available online. Uh, one of them is attached uh, below. Uh, for further assistance, we would recommend contacting your local manufacturing extension partnership, and they will also be able to recommend vendors for any remediation work. Uh, with the new CMMC rules approaching, our customers increasingly want us to be more proactive in validating our partner cybersecurity measures. CMMC is an upcoming Department of Defense cybersecurity framework. So for contractors handling CUI, which requires CMMC level two, those controls are essentially the same as NIST 800171. The key distinction is that CMMC requires a third party audit of the controls rather than a self attestation and requires that all the controls be met. Uh, this is not expected to have an immediate impact on ITAR registered partners because the proposed rules will be phased in over a three year period. Uh, the manufacturing extension partnerships can also assist partners who plan to pursue CMMC. For any additional questions, please comment below and we will answer anything that we can.